Stan to my cores and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech as we get into the campaigns of Copper Top Scandineers. And last time we stole a catapult, as they're talking about up there. Uh, that catapult is going to need extensive redesign and rebuilding, as basically the entire mech was destroyed in attempting to do stuff with it. So that's going to take a little bit of time. But yeah, another mech is on the field, or at least will be on the field soon. Oh, it's this map. Shit, I can't remember which side they start on. Oh, they're going to start over here because this is the Excord zone, I think. We'll start here, we'll hope that works. Cross your fingers for rock and roll. Oh. Wait, what, really? What about really? Not even the final one. <laughs> Alright, let's hope that for once nobody that... Who's this? Who's this? Looks like my neighborhood. It's the right. bloody vidette! Keep your eyes open and watch your sensors. This has its own kind of beauty, you know? No, and the marauder! Like home. Like oh, game, game I hate head. you. I mean, there's this talking nerd in front of us. In front of the cost, so I would not know, but 3.5 million is not value for Pult. Hmm. Alright, this is really annoying. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to walk out of this. Speaking of, where's the Vanguard? Motherfuck! I'm just going to drop right on top of the location. What happens? Oh, you can't actually do anything. Where are you? Okay, at least you're not stuck. I got that going for me. Commander. Camera, let's get your ass over here. God, that's annoying. Affirmative. Let's go say hi to the locals. Orders? It's Gladiator. It is not stuck as well. Just suppose is good. I have to head north along this. Is this a road? This is mostly a road, I think. Let's find out. Full speed, no target. Have to play in the middle of the night. Black hair glasses. <laughs> yeah, we're stuck with them. Never been called a talkie nerd before. That's an interesting one. Oh, leave this live here alone. You can't even hit it anyway. You suck. We'll get it all done. The Excel cost for scaling? Yeah, the Excel cost alone is costing us like two and a half million of that build cost, so it's basically all of it. <laughs> Big Iron, Big Iron, can, can you just turn and try and shoot your way through this? Let's find out if Big Iron can actually get his ass out of this. 60 damage, sure, turn that off and just hope that we get through. Did you manage to miss the fucking building? He missed the building. He missed the building. Ready for orders. Let's see how far the towers can fly on its... <laughs> yeah, with three jump jets it can get two spaces. I think somebody has messed up the jump jet scaling, because with three jump jets I should be able to jump three spaces. With one jump jet I should have been able to jump one space. So, there is always that annoyance. Commander. Play, fly over here, cheat the system. On top of the large corporate building. Aye, aye. This happened to us last time too. I do not anticipate it's going to go well. But I can't hit the present form. Yeah, I think his missus would have actually even hit the building, but no. Not in his purview. Let's see if I can actually get over in this direction, and if not, maybe start flattening some buildings. Standing by. Let's hope this works. There's no reason for us to wait. Because they're not gonna engage us anywhere now that we're on the literally opposite side of the map. Building is evasive. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what's going on. The building has evaded us. I'm gonna go here. With the hopes that I can still see that building. Which I can. Okay, lovely. Uh, yeah, just shoot everything you got at it. Locking on target. Make sure it's gone. If he has to literally fight his way out through the city block, I'm gonna be like. How might I help? Alright, can the vedette move? I don't think that it can. Although it is calculating. Stop calculating. I think it may be stuck. I think it may actually be inside the wall and not actually on the corner here. Much as I do adore the new drop mechanics, 
defend base missions is actually where it all falls apart. <laughs> yeah, you don't even see these buildings. But you see that one. Ultra water cannon off. Just fill it full of lead. Target acquired and locked in. A little bit of machine gun fire will start bringing it down. I want that building side side maneuver. Yeah, seriously. Not be surprised if Rogue Tech does add, added to basic buildings. I mean, buildings can be occupied by infantry in Rogue Tech, so there is that. You can enjoy all of that pain. I did not anticipate the last battle was going to be a night battle. I was anticipating something a little bit more daytime. I'm just counting on the fact that apparently I get... Oh, interesting. The Vanguard contains somebody who has a PPC. Five buildings must survive, six remain. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is not going to be easy. But with the bad drop positioning and the current very stringent building requirements, this is going to be uh, not fun. Oh, helicopter. I saw you. Come back here. But what do I know if you're a fusion? If I just screwed myself up and give me one of those? Oh, hello. Scout car. I'm going to drop nuclear bombs on you. Or at least try to. The worst base defense can just... I know. In the middle of the night, when we spawned on the wrong side of the base... With any luck, none of our people will actually be nuclear weapon carriers. That would be the worst thing. Right, I think we will be able to slip through here and be able to push on that as well. So we are going to be able to get around the buildings. So at least we've got that going for us. Walk you through here. Theoretically, you could shoot. Yeah, it's going to be... But yeah, not, not accurate enough to bother, though. First turn, no sensors... Indirect fire, non-advisable. Unless you've got arrows, in which case, just start chucking as many infernos as you got. Hopefully we can last for ten rounds. Fingers crossed. No promises. Alright, Slibnary PC will be on target next turn, which will be lovely. Holy, get your centurion into the field. Oh, we're currently not engaged. Really? We broke contact? Roger. Well, at least we regained contact before the buildings could go nuts on us. Oh no, did the buildings go nuts on us, or is that a DI gunship? My PPC MMS. Uh, that's not so bad. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Heading out. Time you're able to do anything. Moving out. Should be fully positioned to do whatever the hell I want. You're still stuck, you son of a. Yeah so angry about that words do not convey just how pissed i am about that one there you go yeah you can get much to the side we'll be fine affirmative go through Good the main up. streets go for the back alleys eventually we're gonna get to you and you're not gonna be able to stop us i will deliberately make sure that i do not get in the way, way of anybody trying to get through here what No idea what just happened. Good to go. Hey, Wax. Go tell me exactly what it is I'm looking at. Aye, aye. Am I seriously not seeing any mechs? Is this all tanks? Chandra, boring. Pegasus, annoying. Goblin, the, the annoying version. Stiletto. Probably not that much of a problem. And the DI gunship, of course. Standing by. Bank cards are relatively light. If I were actually able to way. like see them, I could probably do something about them. Unfortunately, I can't see them. And two of my units, one of which is my heaviest unit, are stuck. Here. Copy that. Ready for a gun run. Twenty-two. It's the stiletto. Oh wow. Don't worry, each reinforcement lance is just pure elements. <laughs> that would not be good, because then they'd just be easily able to knock us out. Orders. They only need us to destroy two buildings to win. Which is all kinds of fun. We got up here. I can work with that. Pulling off. Alright, what are you? Condor cavalry tank mark 2B. 
Let's gonna ignore you then. Until you start chucking nukes at me, I'm going to not pay any attention to you whatsoever. The is carrying AMS. Okay, and it shares. Twenty-one. Oh, this twenty-one should be to me. Ah, uh, you haven't even moved your DI gunship yet. Did you seriously leave him still? Interesting. All right, Big Iron can't do anything except start lobbing arrows at people. So he's going to do that. It's fairly accurately. I mean, 21% from across the map. What the big is this? That was nowhere in the right neighborhood. That was terrible. That was objectively terrible. I'm just going to have to rely on him to hold this entire half of the field and then hopefully not die. Wait. I'm reminding myself now of why I normally don't take base defense missions, and this is the reason. But the money was right. The difficulty was kind of okay. It was like, sure, let's take this as our last mission. Make some money. I'm hoping to make over a million siebels when all costs are said and done, but if I don't get that no, no claims bonus, then that's probably not going to happen. I also would like to get the Vanguard bonus, but also probably not going to happen. Unless suddenly these turrets turn on and start lobbing heavy weapons at people. What are you? Got a medium turret. Two Thunderbolt 10s. Oh! Ooh, ooh, hang on. Two, two Thunderbolt 10s of what persuasion? Because we now know that Thunderbolt 10s do not play games. There are nuclear TBMs out there. I'm really kind of hoping you didn't move. Shot here. Apparently, a shot. Move out here. Position confirmed. Can't hit him. Probably not. I mean, accuracy not looking amazing. But if I shovel enough weapon systems onto him, eventually he may explode. Here we go. Did not quit the rotor like I wanted. Nuke defenser. That's what I'm hoping. Just what you need nuclear friendly fire. Waiting for orders. Incoming fire has the right away. No Just don't be there and you'll be fine. Uh, 16 is my name. Shade, can you do it? Shade did it. Nice shot. Orders. I mean, he hit with one of them. He didn't actually blow down the sky, but it's the thought and the start that counts. Turns coming here. Obviously, we're going for the aircraft because they're hard to hit, and this guy decided he wasn't going to move. So I'm going to try and take as much advantage on that one as I possibly can. Throw on even the rocket launchers because I think I'm going to need it. And kill. Well, it didn't kill him, but it knocked down the building he was underneath. I'm out of short range missiles. I've got that to work with. Receiving you. Leak. Retalos. Oh, Talus is out of range. Confirmed. Next turn. Uh, have you read anything Lady A has written? Specifically what? She writes a lot of things. Oh, never mind. Yeah, now it's a novel. Um Commander. We've we've seen nuclear TBMs. We've seen this horrific thing. <sighs> Receiving you. There's a chance. I'm hope part of me really wants it just for the giggles, but another part of me is like, wait a second. If we seriously nuclear TBM this, then like all hope is lost. Yeah, you basically didn't take any damage coming up here. I'm gonna get an altitude advantage on you. I'm gonna turn on my light missile racks. Let's see if I can't crack you. I'm gonna throw in Warlord. Because we almost never actually use these weapon systems. 90% chance to actually hit with the missiles. I don't think he actually managed to hit with the missiles. Yeah, he didn't hit with the missiles. Good job. Excellent shooting there, Tex. 91% chance with a bonus accuracy and he manages to find the one miss that's on the field. Reinforcements show up next turn. Yeah. Oh. Bring forth your hunchback of doom. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to fully get into the line of sight anyway, but it'll be close enough for next turn. 
Next turn, we're gonna roll over him. Or at least try. It's not gonna work, but we'll try. Oh, he stopped right outside the... Really? Are you seriously not gonna be able to activate the turrets this turn? That's really bad. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Are you? Because your armor looks perfectly fine. Yes, Commander. He's literally one tile away from being able to activate the turret. Ugh. Okay. Understood. Well, if we're not getting the turrets this round, I may as well position myself for the direct shot. Get you the Chandra. Don't want to. I want to save this for mechs. Uh, Goblin's a fairly decent shot, actually. Oh, you're the one. Ooh, yeah, that accuracy? Take it. God damn it. 70% chance. What does he do? He shoots the building in front of him. Killing me here, guys. Absolutely killing me. Yes, Commander. Maybe that can't move. Neither can the long boomstick. I'll see if I can get a flak arrow four into that DI gun chip. At least if I can just take that down, that would be ideal. Because they're the hardest things to hit. Haha, you missed. I shouldn't taunt them, but I'm going to anyway. And 11s is... what do we get? We're gonna miss out an entire round of DPS. Not that the turrets do much damage anyway, but still. Hmm. Light damage, Commander. Yeah, we're probably not gonna do a base defense for a long while. <laughs> Goblin, way short. Wait. Oh, shooting an enemy DI gunship. Good job. Three hits. Great success. And the reinforcement lance. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Uh, it's also a turn of sense support. Yeah, there is that. Okay. Spawn in there. You have people that can move to there, just don't want to. Camera, yeah, I'll try and shoot down that DI gun jet, please. I need it gone. Two games again. On my way, double time. And you. Oh, we're almost through. Kick the warlord. Dump everything you got into him. And break them. Despite the point of defense, we actually did manage to get a couple of good hits. And I might hit 140,000 seagulls. Only 400 go. Nice! What are you going to do with them? <laughs> you save them too much. You could be spending them. I'm <laughs> sitting over on fire. Like Cray's been with us for a while. <laughs> uh, play. Play, 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 play. Yeah, you, you completely missed the one time when your missiles would have been, like, the perfect thing to utilize. That was the one time you decided you had to miss. Roger. Going away, see if we can't get one last chance at missile glory. Target acquired. Didn't kill him. I'm out of long range missiles. Good job. Now the DI gunship will flit away, never to be caught. Build and name combos, just haven't seen one to do. At this point, how many build and name combos do you have? You have at least one build and name combo, and then I imagine you have at least enough to to name on top of that. Of course, Koger managed to jam his gun. Wouldn't be Koger if he could if he didn't do that. I don't want to risk that. I'm over here for the more surefire defended, surefire defended stance. Precision up. Okay, good. If he didn't manage to kill him when he was down to like Reporting. 8 health, then one we had problems. So we got one. Yeah. One target destroyed. What do we got over here? Clint, boring. Clint, boring. Chameleon, annoying. Enforcer, boring. What's the boring version Commander. of the Enforcer? There are, there are very interesting versions of the Enforcer. This is not one of them. You don't want to light up. 
<sighs> oh, Jesus. I am just yawning all over the place today. You don't have a line of sight to do anything anyway. So we'll reserve, see if they walk into us so I can actually do something instead of having to move and waste another round of just getting shot at. Fell from YouTube a long time, only recently a state to watch streams. Nice. We do appreciate it. I'm <laughs> only a two-point again. You do build a name and then three more names. Standing Seems by. like a reasonable goal to aspire to and push forward on. Alright, you guys have spawn protection, but I'm gonna just shove over here to see if I can't mess with you. Do not have multi-target though. Zoom on him, please. Not a good shot. Also not a good shot, but he's a much more dangerous target. Wow, 20% increase in accuracy here. Roger. Oh, and the missile's hit. We got some penetration over that one. I was so hoping for something would have exploded. Reporting. Critical hit. The chameleon does have a machine gun bomb, I believe, in its chest. So we were hoping that we had gone in that direction. Oh, you see something. Yes, engage the chandelier. Are you leaving planet or planning a long stay? We're probably going to stay here another month. Uh, the difficulty curve is actually quite nice for us at the moment. Shit. It's not going to target the building instead of the actual... The difficulty curve works with our current mechs. Gives us an opportunity to jump up into slightly more difficult things, while at the same time allowing us to fall back on uh, huh? easier things. So all things considered, not a bad... Not a bad setup. What do you say? Do our elf eyes see? Ugh, interesting. Odds of you hitting? Probably non-existent, but who cares? Yeah, it was a thing. Now we'll stay out of planet, we'll do a little bit more work. How's it going? Only push planet once we get sick and tired of everything. Which, because we haven't run into a huge number of soupy atmospheres or all badlands all the time, no eh, it hasn't running. been so bad here. It could be much worse. It could be a lot worse. Goblin, six, yeah, bring it. Oh. Hold the warlord for when I have the time to go there. Alright, three hits and then some machine gun fire. Next time I check the mech bay, I'll look for, for a mech to remodel. Please don't ruin the good ones. Geography may be working in my favor. Nope, no it's not. Thought for a moment it was, but no. Haha. -ha. You did like 19 damage to my Talos. It will just annihilate you in the follow-up round. If I can get another mech over here, that would be very helpful. Uh, wait, can you actually see anything? Awaiting orders. No, no, you can't. Okay. Race. This is so annoying. There we go. The turrets are online. And now the goblin turns to fight. Let <laughs> me up first. Where are you going? What you got? Where are you bringing it? Bring it, punk. Currently over here. The train. No, don't bring it, punk. Stay away. Ah, you missed. Again, shouldn't taunt them. Gonna do it anyway. Pyro, how long until I can bring your gas rifle into the fight? Right, bloody now on a back shot too. Roger that. Who's giving me their back? Ooh, so tempting. What's the accuracy here? Sixteen percent. Yeah, good. Give me a good shot on a chameleon, I'll take it. Oh, that's a good shot on a chameleon. On fire. Better rip. Roger that. I think. Yeah, pilot it. Huh, Pyro Cap'n. <laughs> needs caffeine. I do not drink caffeine. I stopped doing that a while ago. A long time ago. At this point, I don't think I've been on caffeine for. At least five years. It's normally not a problem, but today has been an awful day. <laughs> oh. Alright. 
Stop hitting my buildings. I need those. They only have 300 health, so. Standing by. But it's your long boomstick. Turn this sucker. We're going to long range Hellstorm artillery the shit out of somebody. Uh, probably gonna be that Clint, actually. Although, if I have a shot on the, the further Clint, I would rather that. If it's a good shot. It's not really. Alright, closer Clint it is. Need him go! Engaging target. Oh, it's on now. Alright, so my people are very excited yeah. now that we managed to hit that shot. And I just barely don't have a line of sight. Just barely. And that Clint is messed up. Although, actually, I can get a line of sight of her. Seems like a much better plan. Confirmed. Stop drinking soda and sugar. But you take my coffee into you. It's a really best friend I Dancing Irby sound of the league. Yeah. I wonder if I could turn that into a t-shirt or something. Because I've been thinking I should update my, my t-shirt. I've been wearing the same t-shirt for how how long at this point? Almost a year. When did we hit a thousand subs? That's why we that's why we made the t-shirt. Miss. I mean, very beautiful miss, but still a miss. I needed that to actually work. No goblins, stay away. Stay away. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with anybody who's rocking SRM 18. SRM 18 is a nasty loadout. For 9 tons, well, technically 10 tons, you are spitting out hilarious amounts of damage. Haha, <laughs> you missed. I wasn't even moving and you missed. My next shot is going to send an arrow four right up here behind. Okay. Uh, that was a miss. It was a miss on a target that is not evasive anymore, I don't believe. Okay, that's actually a fairly nice missile loadout. Artillery, some description. Okay, they're not nuclear. <laughs> I was like, whoa, okay. So they are not nuclear TVM tents. We can breathe a sigh of relief that nuclear fire is not going to rain down on top of us. A lot of coming up. Need to tunify an enforcer for that sure. <laughs> I'd have to find an artist to do it, but yeah, we could do something like that. Although I was thinking more marauder. Ready for orders. Alright, tell us. Play games, tell us, play games! That's why we're here. God, I love this Talos so much. Talos is everything I love in a mech design. A nice, solid combination of weaponry. All of it ridiculously too, too powerful for what it's supposed to do. Like, if I do this, I have the decent chance of killing him. I'm gonna give in to that temptation. I'm gonna give in hard. Demon was... Not currently, since it's a new camo. <laughs> yes, not currently. Could be soon. Fire! And the missile's hit. Smack, 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 do it, do it, do it. Yes! Taken! Eliminated. And that is why I love the Talos. <laughs> oh, the Talos design that we've created is so beautiful. Everything you want in the Talos. Missiles, ballistics, energy. Just bring it all together. 175 damage on a charge. Yeah, that ain't gonna do squat to you. Uh, I will instead just sort of walk up to you. In fact, I'm a little disappointed that I can't just walk up to you right now. This is a little dis dangerous because he is packing SRM-18. MRMs, the rockets, tandems first. Uh, yeah, all I need is for 10 of those tandem rockets at the same location, and he will die. Good luck. I don't know how we hit him with so many tandem rockets, and he's not dead. I am genuinely astonished. How? Oh my god! Oh, so close! That's gonna suck. That's gonna suck so much. 
I do, do I have a decent shot? Oh, I do have a shot on you, but there's a Talos standing right next to you that I'm a little worried about bombing as well. Besides, I have a gas rifle shot here as well. Throw on the Warlord right up. You're never going to get a better shot here. Hello, Otto. This good damn provided some very base base help. The base defense ammo variety pack. Let's see if I can't touch you from way over here. Lighting them up. Nope. Eh, close, but not enough. Can I get holy? I'm Perfect. Wait, no, holy's up here. Who's down here with you? Shoot, it's the tiger. The talus is on his own. Nah, he'll he'll either make it work or he'll die. One or the other, there is no in between. Why? 56 on that. I walked it. What am I looking at? 60? Yeah, so we do need a, We do need the sprint. Uh -huh. I can't get through his massive armor in order to get at that two armor that he has left. I'm so annoyed with how that sh shook out. Here you go. So now he gets to be super efficient in how much armor that he Standing absorbs, by. or how much damage he absorbs. I still haven't fired a tank for arrow this entire time. There we go. Shoot, there's only one. Understood. Moving fast. Shield. <laughs> He'll be fine. Or maybe he won't be, and it'll all just be one great disaster. Acknowledged. That might be close enough to knock him unsteady and you know do yeah, really mean shit to him. Oh, that was you at this point. Oh, we're almost through. Well, if we're almost through, step back a little bit. Don't be that close. Perfect. Give an aim. Save the rockets. And just hope that Shade does his thing. Shade, did you do your thing? Shade did the thing. One more for the trash heap. Taking it hard out here, Commander. You're fine. Just a little backblast. He didn't actually hit him with a BBZ. Just a little bit of the backlash. No, don't move. Really? You, you're ignoring the Talos that is literally right next to you. Okay. If that's what you think is going to bring you happiness. Well, alert. Probably won't. Tenfold. Mm -hmm. This is not very fast at all. I'm actually really concerned about how slowly I just removed this thing. You and your stupid stealth. Chandra. That is... That is a primary target building. Shoot. No, stop. My no claims bonus! Receiving you. Let's shoot that I goblin just to make sure that he's tagged. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to shoot through the other centurion. May not have thought this through. No, oh, no, he has been tagged, okay. Shoot the Chandra. We have been shooting at it, but apparently it's Chandra didn't listen. So we're gonna have to just double extra make sure. That potentially maybe you might just want to explode. Okay, we're missing most of those medium laser shots. I needed it. No one skills yet? Oh, we've got a couple of hits. Oh, you mean friendly kills? No. No, we haven't died yet. I mean, that may change fairly quickly if he keeps being able to do whatever the hell he wants. That is a nasty amount of damage that he's spitting out, and he's got two of them. There it's the long boomstick, if you don't mind. Alright, step inside. Oh, just oh, damn it, it's jammed. No. <laughs> they shot it down. They shot down my thunderbolt, you bastards. Is it up? Pyro's up. Hey, Pyro. Ready for orders. Please get his attention, because it seems like the last time we did that, he didn't really listen. And I desire for him to explode. In a massive ball of fire. That'll do. <laughs> Killed a Clint. Can't go <laughs> that's worth. Yeah, but it was a Clint. I mean, come on. 
Pyro's up here with a chameleon kill on this. On, and not just a chameleon kill, a headshot. God damn, I shot him! Is the tagging system not working? Because it's getting really annoying. Brace, you can't do anything anyway because you're stuck on a goddamn wall. Friendly Goblin did nothing. Oh, here comes the Enforcer. Oh, he wants Big Iron. That's the second time that he's t completely missed Big Iron. To be fair, Big Iron hasn't hey, hit him back, so there was that. Or you just take it away or no clues bonus. Yup. Now we're gonna make like six million sea bills off of this. It's gonna be painful. It's painfully bad. I needed more money. Needed all of the money. Unless we get incredibly incredibly lucky and just wipe out the whole map. But I don't think that's gonna happen, just based on how long it took us to move around. And also the Talus is in the wrong position to go after like all of these swift vehicles they have up in this in this area over here. So the Talus is ideal to handle pretty much any situation. Not quite. It does fall off a bit when facing people with missiles or anti-missile systems, but one unit second space, I'd do a reload. Uh, you can't. Remember, reloads have been removed. And it's not just one, it's two. <laughs> two units are stuck on that same spot. Could you not hit me? And hit the enemy a little bit more? Just for giggles, maybe. There's the artillery. And still gonna move first again. Despite having bombed him. Didn't bomb him very well. He is weaker in the back, though. It would be a mistake for him to just charge forward. Because I'm going to brutalize that behind. Awaiting orders. Right back here. Well Target that goblin SRM. Dick. All of his insanity. Oh, I'm on the right side to do something. Never mind, I'm standing next to the... Yep. That's one of the reasons why the warrior needs to be replaced. It fires nine missiles total. It is a piece of junk. Can you get through here? Can you jump through here? I would need to remove two buildings, or one building. If I can remove the one building, I can get through here. So I need to wait for Pyro. The Talik is going on reserve. Because Pyro's got to go first, knock down the building for me, and then we'll come through with the Talos, and the Talos will get into a nice little brawl over here. That is, of course, if Big Iron doesn't headcap him right now. Big Iron, headcap him. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, oh I should have Big Iron blow up the bloody wall. An idiot. Commander. Holy. Do you want to kill the Chandra? I also want to kill you. I really just have a whole bunch of people that I need to die. I need to die? I need to murder. If I throw in a bit of a berserker, can I can I make some really nasty things happen to people? Words cannot describe how incredibly disappointed I am that I just barely can't reach that stiletto. Right, let's see how I can see our here. I'm not looking up for a charge. Oh, is this not actual? It's not actually a capable charge? The game's just lying to me. Okay. Love it. Well, we're sort of committed to the whole berserker idea now at this point. 57? Oh, it's an 89 actually. Well, unless I go there, then I'm just wasting my time. I can get the kill out there too. Are you an 85? You are a 75 for a kick in the behind. That'll strip all of your health, or I can move to your front. Because your front is down to basically nothing. Although of 140, so. Yeah, they're pretty close to each other. I want to be on your left side, then. Go for the kick, shoot all the guns. 70%. Make it happen! Hello, Jade. Affirmative. I noticed they were ignoring me last night, too, but I'm going to enhance two, two, three. Bonk. 
All right, the genre's taken care of. Target destroyed. And then... No survivors. So, Shade, how have you been? Mm -hmm. That'll do. Can I convince you to design a new Sunderer? And have it completed before I have mine fi fixed so that I can see your glorious model? <laughs> All right, stilettos, move it up. It's all these stilettos, man. All these stilettos. To wipe out like five more mechs in here to actually get anything done. You leave me. Who's up? Shades up. Uh, Commander. Yeah, this seems legit. Stomp you. Unfortunately, Shade is not very good at the whole stompiness. He's a uh, very much a long-range-ish sniper. Oh, I know what I can do. We're gonna Vigilance. We'll, this will bump him up in the initiative order. And then I can safely, quote unquote, place his ass towards the enemy. And he'll be fine. Oh, we'll also throw him Phantom Mech. We're just gonna make Shade as hard to hit as possible. There you go, Shade. Hopefully you won't die. We believe in you. Sort of, kind of. I mean, 40, 20 odds. Popping left side, left side's vulnerable. Go for it! He needs a 77%. Can the gladiator make good on his word? He hit! That was penetration, too! <laughs> That's a lot of Amos. Oh, did you get it? Did you get it? Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Nice! Okay. Don't anticipate a new model for about 30 weeks? Alrighty. We will not bug you then. Waiting for order. Good luck with your current project then. We wish you happiness and health. What do we got? So you're completely untouched and you have a ton of armor everywhere. Uh, kick and room 20 tandems. Go for the full machine gun broadside to his bottom as well. Ooh, that accuracy is just terrible. 38% is not worth it. I need to improve that. One of the ways to prove that is to not be on top of them. Yeah, that's not gonna work. How about you? All of the accuracies over here is not favoring me. I wonder why. We're gonna be there anyway. I may as well throw a sprog under the bus. Minigun, MRM-20 tandem, yeah, rocket. Project I wish work, work more. I mean, I figured project work, same thing. Attack. Miss. Yep, we all saw that coming. And then most of this is gonna miss. To connect. But I'm hoping that it gives like four or five points. I mean, you tried. <laughs> well, they are packing a lot of AMS now. Oh no, okay, Edgar can't get to that back shot anymore. Oh, well, he can't get to the left side. Jagger, kick on your berserker. Hit him with everything we got. It's 50 damage. That's what it's currently calculating. I don't necessarily believe that. Charge gets him 181 damage off a 60% chance to hit. I'm gonna give him the charge. Kyogre, you can do it. We believe in you. How big a bus would it have to be to fit a center in? Uh, a fairly large bus. Okay, that's connection. And then... Come on, crack it, crack it, crack it. Like an egg! Okay. Taking care of most of the vehicles at this point. Oh, is that the Vanguard? Dude, that's the Vanguard. <laughs> the Vanguard is officially dead. Long boomstick. Duh. You do not actually have anybody next to you. Alright, and I do actually have a somewhat decent follow-up on this. So, eat my last full heavy shell. Got it. Yeah, that Billy behind him. Oh, and then the coolant. <laughs> Reporting multiple weapons with no ammo. That worked. I'm heating up good. It was great. So we're gonna take it to flop. Exactly. You just gotta go full in on it. Just believe. Orders. Play. How's your target looking? Oh, your target is looking very vulnerable on the on the front torso. Unfortunately, your LRMs are just stupidly long range and. A stupidly huge minimum range. Quite. Nope. 
team lying to me again. The best I can get, which, you know, does work out okay. Assuming they don't have any more AMS. So, we're gonna go for some tags. If I can get a gyrocrit out of them, I might actually be able to kill him. For my knockdown. Fire. He was out, but we managed to not hit a single shot into that big open center torso. Receiving you. Sadiq needs to still wait for Pyro. Hi, right, Pyro. Bring down the house. Confirm. Firing. There we go. We have opened the door. Day day. Allied forces move. It's the Sleipner. Sleipner has no shot. 13. Oh, it's our enforcer, but our enforcer buddy was unsteady? Really? Oh, that sucks. I'm not gonna be able to take advantage of that. I was hoping to be able to completely wrap him up on that order. one. Dad, do you have a shot? What's the Wait, plan? did you get a shot on anything? No? No, you're just sitting there? But Dad is on vacation. Weighted Lizard is just relaxing. Sipping my ties as he just sits there in his tank. Not actually contributing to the battle. Okay, that was a miss. Uh, if you managed to so much as tap him, Ready for all that would have been super helpful. Vigilance to give him the initiative buff next turn. And then we're gonna run on in. Like a madman. Roger. What else are you gonna do in the Talos? Alright. It's madman 100% of the time. Turn off the re-engineered because we're trying to cut through a lot of stuff right now. Target lock? Yeah, target lock mode for this turn. On it. Yes, target lock. Up. Up. Ha -ha! The plan worked brilliantly. Up. Thunderbolts. Okay, they're still not nuclear. <laughs> oh, but it killed it. Maybe it wasn't. No, I'm still alive. If, if it was nuclear, we'd be dead. <laughs> I think we're down to just one mech left. Bye. Jade. I think he's the last guy. How weak are his legs? Uh, too tough for that. Jade, if I wanted to ask you to charge him from behind, you would have a fairly accurate shot here. Do it. Do it. Gladiator belly flop! Oh, that's a hit! <laughs> that's just real whenever I see the TV and watch yourself. Yeah, I know! <laughs> It makes them terrifying, doesn't it? It's like, wait a second. Things are going wrong. Down to 22, that would be Gamroth. How vulnerable to, he's pretty vulnerable. He is not feeling the love. Let's get nice and close to him. I don't care if he shoots down the warrior, so just sort of attracting him to the warrior is kind of on my positive. He's gonna shoot down every single one of these missiles. I just remembered, of course. That's okay. That's that's fine. The point is, he tried. Oh, he actually got one through. Nice. Still, you know, shot down most of them. But... Uh, what's that? Copper top. Turn to face the final enemy. The last indirect arrow four. Um, shade just. Yeah. Close. That bin is empty. And lots of armor. I'm taking internal damage. Sprog. <laughs> I could have Sprog. No, Sprog's not gonna do that. Sprog is gonna get back here. He uses MRMs in that. the back. This ought to be the end. We may actually have cleared the board. That might get us back over a million despite our lo loss of the no clinch bonus. Yeah, I think that's all of it. I think Enemy that's down. the whole show. Yes, okay. So we lost our no claims bonus because for some reason they weren't really targeting us after we, you know, tagged them. So I'm a little disappointed in that. Would have very much preferred if we had full control over the entire situation. But we are going to get the Vanguard bonus and we are going to get the Wave Clear bonus, which I don't think it actually fully covers the no claims bonus. But that might edge us up over a million, but I'm going to guess probably around 930. 930, 950, in that ballpark is my guess.
and that should help that'll pay for the end of the month costs which we're running right into uh we also need to do a sell-off of all the junk and crap that we don't want to keep we are keeping a lot of vehicles at this point so oh wow Ugh. our drop costs have gotten out of control Three hundred thousand drop cost Fudge. we got to keep that in mind now all right no major penetrations or damages so we're feeling pretty good on that one still uh the income was significantly less than i was hoping for got a goblin and a c3 i mean the c3 is not terrible can you save fuel cost for the bit <laughs> believe it didn't move i may pull the arrow out i don't well it is doing work but is it doing enough work becomes the the grand question not having two mechs in there that could have gotten us that no claim spot us. Don't know if that would have gotten us over the threshold of being able to be above like 800,000 zeebles, but still. Move it to the catapult. That is a thought. I've only got one ton of ammo though. Can't remember so cheap you to win arrow it. If I had inferno ammos, absolutely. We would just inferno everything. Mechs would never be a problem ever again. But I don't know if the arrow as a add-on weapon system makes any sense anymore at least for the marauder i may go twin gauss instead switch those gauss rifles to the arms because it is capable because it has ballistic hard points in the arms which is weird for a marauder but that would be reasonably accurate what do we got yeah one day nine days in the count yeah so this will be a real cheap real cheap on that one let's make sure we sell all the crap uh we do not have do we do not have inferno arrow at the moment all right yellow jacket i keep valkyrie we do not keep uh, we keep the Fujin. We do not keep a Pegasus. Wow, that was a lot. Panther, <laughs> absolutely not. The Hunters, no thank you. More Hunters, no thank you. The uh, Hollander, no thank you. Striders, absolutely not. Goblin Tank. This is a large laser and SRM. No, Machine Gun 3 SRM 6. I have better. I don't need that. Uh, no, thank you. We'll not keep the fire starter. Huron Warrior and Uziel are matched. Sell the Centurion because I have two of them. I'm done with Centurions. We will not buy any more. 55 part or 55 tons for the Griffin part. I'll keep it. Uh, the Apollo I don't really want, especially not with a Bushwhacker on the field. And the Bushwhacker I have enough hard points for it. How many? Yeah, this is a 2 2 2, which is um, compared to the bushwork, which is a 2 3 2 2. Here, here's our firebrand. Four parts to it. We're never going to build it, ever. Testudo! Testudo is a f arrow 4 tank, right? Yes, it is an ultra. We'll keep that. Stalker 4P, we keep it. And the Helopolis, because someday I may decide to completely rebuild our Helopolis. And what I will do is I'll, I will basically rip apart this Helopolis. And reconstruct, but I need one more part before I can do that, so. Urban mech. I think it's time. Wait, what? Weapon order? Ooh, interesting. I can change my defaults. I like that. I think it's time to finally to finally send it into storage. It'll free up some equipment, which I may end up needing. And I don't envision us ever using this ever again. I can still see the Raven being used and the rifleman as a good backup. But the urban mech is done. We'll put that into storage for now. And then maybe bust it out at a later date. If I wanted to scrap it, we're looking at you know, 50,000 parts. So, not particularly useful. Check, check, check. Quick check of the store. I swear, I can speak. I do speak English mostly, sometimes, on occasion. Keep all of that. All of those guns. Keep the lax, light rotary rifle. Keep it just because it's a light rotary rifle, but it's not an ultralight rotary rifle, which would have been cooler. Uh, Yurik 5, ammunition for all the guns that I don't use. Energy weapons, I don't have enough to start replacing energy weapons. Same thing with missiles, support weapon systems, we're probably just going to give them all. I could get rid of quicksell gear, but it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, we're at my threshold for equipment like that. 140 fusion core, never going to use it. 210, never going to use it. 250 is minimal. Fuel cells, get rid of one. 
we have found the fuel cells can on occasion actually be a fairly useful thing. I do not understand this thing. Like, no. I refuse to ever use that. That is garbage. Light engine, three clan XLs. We keep all of them. Only need... Yeah, I'll keep one. Or two of them, I mean. Single heat sink cooling. Sell down to two. You never know. You might run into a primitive gear or something like that. May mean the difference between putting it in the field and not. Uh, keep one of the armors, because, you know, armor's not that big of a deal. Bills, C3s. We actually have four C3s. That's pretty impressive. Basics. Get rid of all but one. Small cockpit. I really don't see I'll ever use it. I'm going to keep it for now, but... Oh, yeah, we have an advanced small cockpit, which is the same as... Except it just doesn't have any negatives. So I'll get rid of the normal small cockpit. We have two advanced small cockpits. Ooh. I may have to use one of those if I, you know, find myself in need of just a tiny bit more. All that. Keep all of this. All of this gear that I need and want to build into wonderful, glorious designs. Just need more time. We have too many sensor trackers. Uh, solve one of these. Every little bit helps. Okay, we're just under 3 million sea bills. We are... How close? 16 days. Okay. Take the clock. End of the month. Ready now we lose all of our money. Whatever you are. Oh, we still have 1.4. That's not bad. I think our monthly cost actually went down. <laughs> Lovely. Lunchbag is done. Check the store for the new month. What are the new things that we have restocked the store with? I'm gonna guess... Ooh, cavalry attack helicopter. I'm already not liking it. <laughs> yeah, four SRM2 and an SRM6. No. <laughs> Zephyr, no, Condor. You got an AC5 medium laser and the Mirrodon. PPC SRM6. All that is garbage. Okay. Take a medium laser, enhanced optics, some fusion cores, negative four heat sink system for some god darn reason. Oh, we can buy bombs. Why? How? Can, can these even be mounted onto mix? Oh, right, for the lambs, duh. Yep. Seawall <laughs> came out of right of the example when I was thinking about it. Wait a second, why? Oh, that might actually be a good-ish reason to use lambs, just for the bomb effect. Unfortunately, other than that, there's nothing actually useful in the store. It's all garbage. What sort of command center are we looking at? What sort of crazy missions can we look forward to? Okay, that's an okay spread. Lots about ugh, negative tonnage battle. Standard battle 315, that's meh. Negative tonnage is dangerous, but I might take it. I got Hawk and... Are any of these duels? No. Anybody have a duel? Nope. We're gonna have to head over to Solaris or something. Alright, so we got a really nice mix of battles. The payout on the battles is not great. I mean, 315, me. There's a 4 of 19. Two 4 of 19s. It goes all the way down to 2 skull. For 980, that's not bad for capture base. Although, may just want to do this assassinate for 1.1 million. Yeah, we've got some interesting missions that are gonna be coming up. Alright, we have. Just gotta click the clock forward. A wee bit there, we go. A wee bit more. Got a catapult in six days, it's under in 11 days. Assuming, of course, no other stuff being worked on. <laughs> Comfortable, Irby. I mean, they do have nice cockpits. I may want to rip out Big Iron's uh, Arrow 4. One thing that I had been toying around with uh, the other day when I was sort of looking around at various weapon systems that we had is I can rip this out, I can rip this out, I can rip this out. Send the Gauss rifle over here. And then I have a second Gauss rifle, which I can throw that out, which I can throw in there, and then I have the ammo to actually run it for once, which is a miracle. And give me back one of those AP guesses. And that's that's a much more powerful direct fire sort of mech. Uh, it leans more heavily into it. The heat efficiency goes way up, so we're just blazing away all day, every day. Uh, 61 heat. 
that's not bad. Most of that is just the, the medium the medium heavy lasers. Another thing we might want to end up doing is we could try. I don't really have the gear yet for it, but I want to start moving towards maybe putting in heavy medium or heavy large lasers in these arms instead. Uh, I'm gonna need to find some exchangers if they still exist in order to actually tolerate the heat on that, but we could rather easily refit this into something a little bit cheaper to actually field. The, the missile cost is huge on this, by design, I mean, you're firing gigantic artillery. We lose some flexibility in that, but we, then we gain in the fact that, you know, we picked up direct fire gauss damage. So, 70 damage versus 75, they're close enough. Clan would be better, obviously, we save an additional 10 tons. Really, I'd like to be able to, to modify this into something a little bit more aggressive than what I'm currently using. I'd like a 375 rate of fusion core in here too, but that's, I mean, there you can only dream so hard. Because I want more speed out of this mech. I want to turn it into my own little mad cat. It's gonna be great. Someday. Okay, so, to my YouTube people, we're gonna put a cut in here for you, so to my YouTube people, thank you very much for watching. I have been Tarek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see another location every single time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode. I'm gonna wait just a little bit. There's great. Alright.